Hi, it's Jordan Teen One, and today I'll be showing you how to make this super cute and extra fancy hanger using rubber bands. So you can see for this one I did three different colors and I kept alternating them every three rows and I have my really cute Flower Fun Charm XL that you can find on my channel that I've just added as a little decoration at the top. And let me show you another one that I've done. This one I did white and then all of the different rainbow colors. And you can see for this one I twisted it so it gives it that spiral look. So I think it looks really cool either way. And today I am going to be showing you the first one here. I think that these would make an excellent Mother's Day gift and I also think they would be great as a baby shower gift. Um, this one here is actually a child's hanger and that's what I am going to be showing it on just um, to be able to fit it all on the screen. But you can definitely do the same thing with the regular adult sized hangers as well. All you're going to need to make this is your hanger. And as I said, I am using a child size hanger in this tutorial. And then your rubber bands, I have Rainbow Loom brand white, teal, and pink. And you're going to need about 320 rubber bands. And if you want to add the Flower Fun Charm, that's an additional 28 bands. Now, if you're going to do the adult size hanger, you're probably going to need about 420 rubber bands depending on the size of your hanger. And I would just like to point out that when you're choosing your hangers, some hangers have like little extra pieces on the sides and sometimes at the top here they have a little bit of extra plastic. So just try and choose ones that don't have that. Or if you can't find any that don't have these little extra pieces on the side, what you can always do is just cut them off. So I'm going to be starting at the top here on the right hand side and I am going to be using two bands at once every time. So let me start with the pink here. So you take your two bands and you're just going to put them underneath of the hanger and then you want to take your hook and you want to grab the two bands from the right side and then also from the left. So they're just wrapped around here. I'm going to slide it up to the top and then I'm just going to pull the two on the end of my hook through the other two. And then I'm going to take two more of the pink and I'm going to take my hook and just put it underneath here. I find this the easiest and then I can just grab these two, pull them underneath because we're always just wrapping these bands right around and then getting them right back on here. And then you're going to pull these through the first two. And I always like to just take a second and wiggle it to straighten these out. And then I want to continue on through the second two. And also, I like to turn my hook the opposite way as I'm pulling these through. I just find that to work a little bit better so they don't slip off at all. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to slide my hook underneath get it ready to grab these next two pink. So I'm just going to pull them on the hook and then I'll pull it all the way underneath and then over the top. And you do want to try and keep these straight. You can see how on the bands here these are a little bit overlapping. So let me just take a second and smooth them out there. And now I'm ready to pull it through the first two. And you can see I always turn my hook, the pointy part, towards myself as I'm pulling through the first two. Then I just straighten those out, wiggle it a second, and then I turn it away from me to pull it through the other two. And then you're just pushing that up so it's nice and tight against. So I am going to change every three sets of bands. I'm going to change color. So next I'm going to do white. And I'm also doing white in between the colors. So again, I'm just going to slide my hook underneath, grab the two white, and come over the top. Sorry if it's a little bit shaky. I'm having a hard time keeping the hanger steady here. And so then now once again, I'm pulling it through the first two, 
just giving it a little wiggle and then pulling it through the next two. I'm going to do that again. Pulling it through the first two and then the next two. And then I want one more set of white, so I'm getting my hook underneath. They're getting through the first two. Whoops, I only made it through one there. Twisting and going through the other two. And so now I've done three sets of white, so it's time to switch to the teal. So again, just getting them under and then back on. Get this hook under again and I'll do my next two. And then finally, I have one more set of the teal. You can see this looks like it's sticking out a little bit. So I'm just going to pull this back. And so I'm just going to continue on in this pattern. I'm going to do white next. I'm going to do white in between every other layer here. So I will just fast forward here and when I get to the end I will show you how to tie it off. Now you can see that I've got to the end here. And I think there's a little bit of space that it looks like from where I first started here. So what I'm going to do is just take my hook and put it underneath. I'm going to put a band that goes on the other side here. So I'll just pull these under and put this right in the corner. And pull these through here. And so now I need to tie this off. So what I'm going to do here is take an additional white band and I'm just going to slide it through the two that are on my hook. And then I'm going to put it back on, slide one end through the other, pull that nice and tight and make a slip knot there. And I can see some of these look like they're overlapping on the back. You can just fix any of that that you need to. And then what I'm going to do is just wrap it around this hook part of the hanger. It is going to be a long stretch. And let me just twist it and wrap it around again. It's definitely going to be tight, but I want to make sure that that's not going to come apart. So now that's finished here. And if you want, you can add a little flower. So as I said earlier, this is my Flower Fun Charm XL. And you can find the tutorial for this on my page. I'll add the link here. The only difference between this and the actual tutorial is I did use double bands for the entire first section, which are these petals here. So instead of laying one band at a time from each pin, I did two bands. I did one of each color. So it's a little bit thicker than the one in the tutorial. So at the end you're left with these two loops here. So we're just going to put this around. What I'm actually going to do is go underneath these two first just to make it a little bit more secure. Put my hook under here and then I'll grab these two loops that are left over from the flower, pull it up through, and then again it's a bit of a stretch here but I'm just going to pull this up and over. Just give it a little bit more stability on there. 
I hope that everyone loves their new fancy hangers as much as I do. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook, post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page, and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on my latest tutorials. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!